All right, well, Tara got a new truck. It's new to her, it's an old truck, and it's had a couple issues. The steering is kind of wonky on it, and um, I told her as soon as I had a second, I would take a look at it and um, help her to address what the problem is. But I didn't just want to do the job for her. I wanted Tara to learn, and um, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, when you work with someone that you're teaching and let them do it, but help them along the way, especially on their own vehicle. It gives them such a sense of pride because at the end of this job, I will not have completed the job. Tara is gonna have done completed the job. I, done completed. Done completed. <laughs> and so, I mean, without further ado, we're just gonna get to it. She's gonna change her oil and um, she's gonna put a new Pitman arm on. Sure can. Okay, so Tara's already smart. Instead of climbing under the car to figure out what it is, she's gonna go ahead and take the new part with the new castle nut and uh, she's gonna find the right one. And Tara, do you know why they call that a castle nut? Because it looks like a castle. That's it. <laughs> All right, cool. Is that really why though? That's really why, look at it. Well, yeah, it looks like the top of like a knight's castle. Now, do you know why they do that? No, I don't. Okay, so screw it down a little bit. And I want you to look at the bolt. Keep going. Now look at the bolt. Look at the shaft. Kind of at the side of it. Oh, it has a little yeah. hole on the side. So, okay, you're steering. You don't ever want your steering to fall off. So you tighten your bolt up and you align it once you've got it tight to that hole and you put a cotter pin through there and then you bend your cotter pin and it can't come off. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Gotcha. Try that one. Bigger or smaller? A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Try that one. Perfect. Is that it? Yep. Hey, I did pretty good looking at these things. Yeah, I'm good eyeball. She grabbed two wrenches. Okay, so. Oh, I see the pin right here. Yeah, so we'll take that cotter pin out, but we'll take that out in a minute. <coughs> Go ahead and crack that bolt loose on the big guy. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. That's correct. I'm gonna this here real quick. Left. That way. I need to push down. <laughs> Don't judge me. Nobody's judging you. I hope I'm pulling this other way. Come on now. <laughs> it might be so tight that we want we want to put an impact wrench on there too. Hang on. But that's learning. You might want to stand because I'm gonna use this for strength here okay. behind this bench. Hold on. <laughs> I could do it if I don't smack myself in the face, but I gotta get leverage. Lefty, hang on. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pull up. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Well, truck's moving. Well, would you like to try an impact wrench on One it? One more time. One more time, all right. <laughs> you do this. You piece of junk. <laughs> I just gotta find that good position. That's one of the hardest parts about being a mechanic. <laughs> You're telling me. I really want you to break it because you're putting so much effort into it. I loosened that up for you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> she loosened it up for me, guys. <laughs> What's funny is that was an instinctual position for me to be in. So like when I'm pointing at, at, at the part and I'm strong pulling in and I can brace myself and not pull myself in. Helps to have, you know, all this extra weight. I don't have that problem. <laughs> all right. I don't have, she says I don't have that problem. This thing ain't gonna fall on me, is it? Nothing should. 
See, now when you use the word should. <laughs> as soon as you get it to where it's almost out, like the nut is halfway out, you can go ahead and leave it on. We're gonna leave everything in place. Just because on how I was bracing myself, like I pretty much used the whole truck to try to move this thing. <laughs> Well, you got it broke loose. You you used sympathy. <laughs> hey, I put all of it into it. My back popped after that one. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and uh, I would work on your next one. Oh, Lord. Now, you got to get that collar pin out, too, though. Okay, how do I do that? So take a look at it. Look at how it's manufactured, how it's made. Oh, I got it. Let me push this in through here. Because all it is is just one simple piece of wire. So you got to get a pair of pliers on there and straighten out those two pieces and then tap it back through the opposite way. Okay. All right? Okay. Hey! I need some wire cutters. Get you off of the grease. Hey, just slid through it. <laughs> yeah, you clean the you clean the ground for us. This was I am bending the cotter, cotter <laughs> what are they, the cotter wires? Cotter pins. Cotter pins. Cotter pin wire straight. Okay. Okay. I am bending the cotter wire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> cotter pins. I am bending the cotter pin straight so I can pull it out through the nut socket thing. <laughs> Now what if I break it? Doesn't matter. You said it does too matter. No, we're gonna put a new one in. Is there a new one in there? Uh, there may not be, but we'll get one if there's not. <laughs> yeah! Nice job! Thank you. Out, oh, laying on the wrench. Er, nope. <laughs> you know what, it's a good thing I am small. Good job, that one came off easy, huh? Yep. Okay, so, tell me what's happening. We're gonna go get a pitman arm puller. What is that? Pulls the pitman arm down. <laughs> <laughs> does it, does it? Right, yeah, that's what it does, right? Cause yeah. it's pull, you gotta pull the arm down cause I ain't moving with the hammer. That's it. Okay, Tara is back, and she went to the local, local, uh, whatchamacallit? AutoZone. AutoZone, and got us a Pitman puller. We're going to see which one of these fits. Not that one. So these are Rena tools, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. Bingo! Loosen that up. Okay, Tara, so you kind of get the idea of, of what this does? Pulls it off the... Yep. The shaft of the nut. Now what we're going to do to give ourselves a fighting chance is we're going to use the torch and we're going to preheat this part. We're going to heat it right here, okay? And what that does is metal for every 100 degrees that it heats up, it actually expands one thousandth of an inch. So it will get bigger, okay. which is really awesome. But our shaft's going to start heating up too. So this will heat up first and start to expand. And there's a window of time in there where we can have that expand and we're good to go. There's also some spray we can use that we can spray on the inside of this that will cool that part down okay. while we're heating this up. And um, I don't have any of that. I will get some, but it really, really helps to make this easier. The part would just fall off almost. I'll grab my calipers and I'll show you what a thousandth of an inch looks like. Okay. Can you get this off? Oh, there it goes. Especially when it gets tight. Okay, it's on there. Do I it here, here, and here? Yeah, do not heat the center shaft. Don't let any fire get to that center shaft. Now you say that, I don't wanna do this no more now. <laughs> It's not going to hurt it, it's just going to warm it up. And you don't want it to warm up together because everything will just expand together. Turn on the heat 
the bowl. Well. And that's probably good. You got a pretty good preheat on it earlier. Now just start tightening it. Don't punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Pull up or down? Well, the only way it'll go. <laughs> oh, wrong way. <laughs> Here, I'll help you keep going. Nope, I heard that pop. <laughs> Me. You might want them on if this pitman arm falls down, it'll hit you in the face. I keep they're coming off. <laughs> you can't use a ratchet. <laughs> You're getting there. Hands are getting all sweaty. <laughs> It's bending the uh, nut. What? It's bending the nut around here. Oh, these are too small. You gotta get one that fits perfect. This is. Fits perfect. That's not perfect. That's wobbly. What do you got here? What size? Same 11 sixteenths? Get the next size. Down? Yep. <laughs> what do you got? 17. What happened? Caught myself on this thing. What's it doing? Is it turning? I don't know. At this point anymore. Watch it and see if it's turning. Well, we got a beaten heat now because that's all we got. And you're not necessarily trying to hit it down, you're just trying to hit it as hard as you can. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I was just making sure I was clear. Uh huh. <laughs> Get a little frustrated, huh? getting easier. What's going on? It's either coming off or something's breaking. How's it look? It's coming off. It's coming off. <laughs> it's freaking coming off. Well, after resetting four times, Tara finally got it off. Good job, Tara. <laughs> Fought you, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Clock time on this uh, Pitman Arms probably like an hour. We have not been working on this thing for an hour. Well, there's no we, it's you. I've been filming you. What like 9 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> and it's 5.09 right now? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Of course, I got a lot of other stuff done today too while you were running around looking for parts and stuff. Yeah, AutoZone five times. Not even that. Four times. <laughs> Lowe's. Put one the, time. Put the part on. Start talking. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? I'm taking the castle looking thing off. 
and I'm gonna put it here in this socket. Yeah, uh-oh, here, let me pry this down for you. Yep, and then you're gonna pry that down, and then I'm gonna get it. Hold on, hold on. I got my pry bar over there, boss. It's in the wrong spot. Hey, okay, now, watch it. Yeah, I don't wanna hurt you. It's great. It's gonna pry that down. That's gonna go on this socket here. Oh, that's sorry. I'm trying to record and pry, which is not working. A little bit more. Hold on. Do -do -do -do. Oh, there you go. I get it. This is the worst camera work ever. All right. Is it on? I think so. No, not all the way. <sighs> oh, there it went. You can tap it with a hammer. Just don't hit the threads. Okay. Give me the hammer. It's right behind your head. There's a big one. Oh. Okay. That, that Pittman arm is lined up pretty good. It is lined up pretty good. What do you think about the way it drove? It drove pretty good. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. It's totally different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And since you had this truck, it's been driving terrible. Yeah, it so, has. Congratulations. Good job. Thank Knuckle you. up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hope to see you all at the mill.